Hey guys, it's Cash and I am out of town. I am in Austin, Texas. You can see. Um, so I wanted to talk about gang stalking and I wanted to talk today about I had an epiphany here in Austin, Texas that kind of put some things together for me. Um, I know I talk a lot about the spiritual side of things, but today I'm going to talk a little bit more about the political side of this gang stalking issue. Um, so the airport, I know I've talked about the airport before, how I was swarmed. The airport actually for being in Houston, which is known to be a big gang stalking, uh, area, it wasn't that bad. Um, I had one instance, this guy came up to me in a shirt with a lobster on it that said, who's your daddy? Um, if you don't know, they refer to Satan as daddy. I wanted to say, uh, my dad is the guy that kicked your daddy out of heaven. My daddy is the landlord, um, but I didn't say that. I should have said it, but I didn't say that. Um, so here I am in Austin. Austin's super cute. It's such a cute little town. Um, the gang stalkers here are very friendly. You know, they're not fig figs here with me. Um, they are not um, as aggressive as the ones in Miami. Um, so if they're coming up to you, they're complimenting you, saying things about stuff, but maybe like saying an NLP word, a neuralistic, neurolinguistic programmed word. Um, but yeah, overall, the vibe is good. I didn't post anything on social media um, the first day I was here because I wanted to see how people would be the first day. Um, then I posted something, and then the second day, I started seeing more gang stalking, um, more logo sensitizations, um, more people just walking back and forth, glaring, um, what else? Just a, a little bit of an attitude change, attitude shift from the first day, but oh well. Um, so as soon as I posted on social media, that's when I noticed the shift and got some of the angry gang stalkers. So a common, something I'm seeing that is um, what I see in Miami as well is hipsters. Hipsters are doing a lot of this gang stalking. And hipsters, it's a subculture. You know, they got the handlebar mustaches. They like to ride the bikes with no brakes. They don't like to stop. Um, what else? Um, I know a lot about hipsters because in Chicago, there's a lot of um, hipster neighborhoods. So Wicker Park, um, Ukrainian Village. Um, these are neighborhoods that were once not very good, but were gentrified. So you see a lot of the hipsters moving into these neighborhoods and gentrifying them, you know, bringing uh, African American and the hipster uh, culture together. That's why you see a lot of African Americans adapting this hipster culture because of the gentrification of these neighborhoods. And you'll see them with like the tight pants on and like things like that. So the thing about hipsters is they are liberals. So what liberals stand for um, is equality before the law, which that's great. I'm all for it. But um, they use cool, what's cool and in and stuff as a weapon. So obviously, they're predominantly the ones doing the gang stalking. So they're making gang stalking, stalking people cool. So that's why this is most likely an epidemic. And as gang stalkers, gang stalkers are liberals, so obviously they are against Trump, anything conservative. So when I realized this today, and I, I just realized it today out on the street, just from like observing and stuff, um, I looked up the places with the highest hipster um, populations. And wouldn't you know it, Miami, Florida, Miami, Fort Lauderdale, and Orlando, all three have large populations of hipsters. Uh, when I think of Miami, I don't really think of hipsters. So that was ignorance on my part, but now it's all kind of coming together and uh, making sense because um, 
I've had parties. I've had parties where people have had MAGA hats on and that joke just went right over my head. You know, because if you're not a liberal, they automatically assume that you are a conservative and for Trump and I didn't even vote. But with this subculture of hipsters and what is going on, if they can't peg what you are, then you are against them and then you could find yourself being gang stalked. So if you don't really fit in, if you feel like you don't really fit in and you're experiencing gang stalking, that is most likely why. Because <laughs> this is also a political strategy as well. So um, this is all leading into like future future. This is new world order agenda. And I don't think a lot of people that are doing this gang stalking, um, they might be liberals, they might be against Trump, but I don't think that they really know that the, the hand that they're feeding into, which is demonic, satanic cult activity, I don't think a lot of them realize like the end end game of all of this because there's a lot of people with crosses like this on doing this stuff. So um, I think it's kind of childish. I think it's a little bit childish behavior to um, go against someone that doesn't have the same political beliefs as you, stalk them. But obviously this is a big thing. This is going on all over um, the world, really. So, I mean, if you want to be a killer, in the words of Nino Brown, if you want to be a killer, go join the army because the army needs people like you. So I also wanted to talk today about MK Theta. MK Theta is the super psychic. Um, when they kick on or when they make you a super psychic and you get your psychic abilities and then your um, some people have telepathic abilities, when you get this, a lot of people wake up and it hits you like a ton of bricks, trust me they wake up to the truth. And this is where a lot of people, if they were serving this agenda, turn around and go back to God. And that's exactly what happened to me. And I found a video where this guy is talking about the super psychics and how they can't even go out to dinner. Like they'll sit down at an empty restaurant and all of a sudden all the tables are full next to them. And it's very true because it, it happens to me, it has happened to me in the past and it happened to me just today in Austin. So um, I'm going to post that video down below where he talks about that and how a lot of people like realize what the truth is because you're woken up to the truth with the MK Theta. And um, I'm going to post that, but I had that happened to me today. I was sitting outside, I was drinking my coffee, restaurant was empty, then all of a sudden I got tons of traffic walking back and forth in front of me. This guy two, three times and then decided to go in the restaurant. But he was glaring at me and I can, I've been gang stalked for long enough. I can tell who is a gang stalker and who is not. But that restaurant got some good business just from me sitting outside. So you're welcome. Um, but yeah, overall, Austin, it's, it's a cute little town. Um, the people here are friendly for the most part. Um, but yeah. So, hipster connection, hipster subculture, that is who I feel is doing a lot behind a lot of this gang stalking, and it's political based, and a lot of them have satanic beliefs, are rooted in satanism, so... There you go. There's that epiphany for you. Um, so if you like what I'm saying, please like. If you disagree with what I'm saying, if you have another spin on what I am saying, please feel free to comment down below. Um, subscribe. And as always, I hope everybody has a wonderful Memorial Day weekend and God bless.